Oh shit, what the fuck? Goddamn messages messing up my goddamn rhythm. Look at that. Jesus. Didn't uh, get to hear the guy say, copy that, roger that, blah, blah, blah. Got it. But anyway, what is up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Sabal Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. What today? Operation Jackhammer. Who's next? Who is next indeed? And unfortunately for Cerberus, it looks like them. I am going to cluster grenade, cluster grenades their face. And I guess, uh, I guess I do got something resembling a, a spear of some kind because, well, I am biotic charging their face. And that uh, kind of works out pretty good, I guess. So I'll take it. Why not? Goldberg ain't got shit on me. He didn't have biotics. He does have freakishly big strength, though. Though, <laughs> even though Goldberg is a standard, measly, pathetic little human, uh, he probably still has more health and barriers than uh, <laughs> the Drill Vanguard does. And I guess in a... Uh, actually, I guess I should say what Operation Jackhammer is for those who are unaware. It is a challenge. Pretty much got to spam biotic charge all over the place, biotic charge all the things, spear him in the face, vanguard the face, so on and so forth, you get the challenge done. I actually grinded out uh, half of it in three waves of silver, <laughs> so it's actually pretty easy to do. Get, get, get. There we go. Uh, I gotta be careful with the, uh, gotta be careful with the drill vanguard, very squishy, that's why I call them squish towns, it all works out. Uh, <laughs> well, Actually grinded out half of it in three waves of silver. Had 40, more than half of it actually, 40,000 points. And they figure, well, I gotta use the Vanguard. Said I would make a Drill Vanguard video, and I figure, well, why not be the perfect opportunity to do so? So Drill Vanguard, why would you play this guy? Honestly, there really is no reason to play this guy other than if you enjoy Drill in general or really, really like cluster grenades, but all in all, it's kind of hard to um, justify using this guy over the Asari Vanguard, in my opinion, because lift grenades are, I think, better than cluster grenades because uh, it's a lot easier to use uh, lift grenades outside of uh, point-blank range. Oh, God damn, what happened to that thing? Oh. Scary, scary Turian, uh, Turian soldier with his dastardly hurricane. Um, one thing the Drell does have going for it, though. One thing it does, actually two things, rather. Um, oh god, yeah, probably not the best runner, even though I've got the movement speed. Well, at least if there's no one shooting at me, get out of the way. Vanguard coming through. Okay, have some fun with those cluster grenades. Bounce them off the walls. Use physics to my advantage. Look. Man, I am mucking this one up. Can't always do it perfectly, but uh, I guess the thing number one in favor of the Drill Vanguard. Um, he does have the highest passive damage of all, all the classes. Uh, he got power damage bumped up to 50%. Weapon damage is, I think, it's 32.5, I think, and he's got 30% headshot damage bonuses if you choose to spec into that, but uh, you're not going to be able to get the full benefits of all the power bonuses or all the weapon. Well, you can get the full benefit of all the power damage bonuses if you choose to spec that way, but the thing with uh, the weapons is if, um... <laughs> I see cluster grenades aren't that good compared to lift grenades. I get a kill streak with them. So much for that. Oh god, yeah, this is not a good place to be in. Save me, friends! Oh, I gotta play this sort of like a Mass Effect 2 Vanguard using cover. I'm gonna be more careful. Oh shit, I died of a grenade. T terrible, I knew it was there too. Uh, that's stuck on a corner, that's my excuse. Get out of my face! There we go. So, uh, I guess I don't think Cerberus has an answer for this. They're gonna have to kill me. Right after I charge. Oh, God. did I run past the fucking turret? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, the speed is so blinding. I can't see what's in front of me sometimes. Man, I need that health. I don't have very much of it. It doesn't regen either. But, uh, anyway, draw Vanguard, lots of passive bonuses. Um, still gonna need some of the power bonuses because if you don't get that, uh, you won't be able to stagger very much. And, uh, to the Drill Vanguard, you're gonna need to stagger a lot of things, cause uh, that's, <laughs> the stagger is really the only thing keeping you alive. 
there another turret back there? Gotta be careful. I'm not gonna get caught with the pants down again. I mean, I tried a uh, full weapon damage. Um, full weapon damage, uh, drill vanguard, and uh, it was not a very fun round because uh, <laughs> I couldn't stagger anything. I just died instantly right after. And that was pretty much the story of that game. So, gotta be very careful. Very careful when playing the drill van. You're gonna need that power damage bonuses, and even then, the stagger does not guarantee um, your success. Oh, get the turret going. Oh, what did the turret turn around? That's not supposed to happen. God damn, this team has got some serious deeps, though. That is for sure. I like that. It'll be easy. They can carry me. I'm the only one who's died so far. Ah, the joys of playing a drill vanguard. You live by... Well, I don't know what you live by, but this, not a whole lot. Um, so they've got higher passive bonuses than any other class. You know, they do get the passive movement speed. Uh, your movement speed buff that'll be just for you. Um... Like I said, it's a point too, I guess. And there's, there's a third point, um, and this is actually the big one. The Drell Vanguard actually gets a um, very high... Uh, he, he is able to use heavier weapons at less penalty. He's got a very high is it like weight encumbrance bonus, I think it's called, and I charge and I get instantly health gated. Oh boy, this is dangerous. Yep. <laughs> charge you gotta be careful charging those uh, combat engineers, huh? Jeez, their backpack blows up and I get fucking gibbed. Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, high risk, high reward. Or high risk and uh, medium reward. <laughs> uh, never said I was a fantastic drill vanguard player. Probably get a, a little. Too overzealous, admittedly. But I did kill all the targets, I think. I was an assassin! Passive Israel assassin. Oh, Helga, welcome to the club, buddy. Very exclusive club. Look at the Krogan Vanguard. Thinking he's badass. Being all battle mastery and shit. It's cheap! Now they left Helga dead. What a bunch of jerks. No one wanted to revive him. Ah, my recklessness is at least paying off, sort of. Killing all the things. That's okay, I still got four ops packs. Oh, not today. Not today, there we go. Well, so much for that. <laughs> I killed everything, though. Uh, even if I do get killed, I'll make sure I cause lots of destruction. That's, uh, that's the joy today. So, he gets very high uh, weight a weight bonus so he can use very heavy weapons and not uh, actually suffer that much of a penalty. Um, for instance, this exact setup would leave a 150% uh, cooldown bonus on the Asari Vanguard, but um, but on, the, uh, on this guy, he gets 180% bonus and you can use something heavy like a claymore and still get, I think, maybe like a 4.1, maybe 4.2 second charge cooldown. So he's definitely got, uh, as far as weapon uh, choices are concerned, he's definitely got the most options available to him. Depending on how dangerous you want to be, you know, whatever. I prefer the talent, lightweight, powerful, accurate, packs a good punch. Uh, can do long range, excels close range. Well, to do long range, you're gonna have to um, sit down and cover and get that accuracy bonus built in smart choke. Remember that. And uh, the Talon, they, <laughs> they kind of inadvertently buffed it. <laughs> Thank you, Nemesis. Asshole. That's it. You're dead, Phantom. Everything is dead. Fuck everything. Okay, anything else still alive? Jeez. I got a Krugan Vanguard on my team. Why isn't he taking all the damage? I'll just stand next to him all day. Stand behind him, rather. <laughs> Why not? It's smart. It's smart, even though I'm still getting hit. God damn. Life of a drill Vanguard is tough. Very tough. Get, 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 get in stealth, asshole. Jeez. Oh, broke his face in half. <laughs> uh, so. 
would you want? Would I recommend the Drill Vanguard to play? Um, no, I would not. This is a very tough class to play, um, especially if uh, you want to do well with it. You know, the fact that you're very squishy, it's very hard to work around that. You know, playing a Vanguard the way you know most people would want to play a Vanguard, getting through the uh, thralls of close range. It's very tough. I mean, obviously, I've died a lot this game, and that's to be expected. Okay, anyone? Come on, go away, go away. Damn it, I, I just want to throw grenades. Throw grenades all over the place. Uh, you're definitely going to need grenade gear of some sort. Definitely. Um, but, uh, Stroll Vanguard just has a very, uh, it's, it's just not easy to play. And, um, if you're a lagger. I mean, not a lagger, but uh, play off host a lot. But, uh, I would stay away unless you've got big balls of steel. Bill Goldberg's size balls, as they would say, or something like that. I don't know. But uh, get this fucking piece of dog shit out of here. And these teammates might actually be too good. I might not actually complete the, uh, the challenge in this game. Okay, uh, we got a bunch of guardians. Yeah, I want to go up. I want to go up there. Yeah, there we go. Still getting shot, even with the uh, vanguard uh, damage reduction that we get. The 450 barriers does not go a long way, and um, cyclonic modulators will not help because um, the way those work is it goes off of um, base shields. Goes off of base shields, and 150% uh, of like 300 barriers does not really account to anything. What the, what the, why? You're doing good. Oh, I hear phantoms. I hear phantoms. Where are they at? Where are the damn. Oh, there's a fucking turret behind me! It was sitting there the whole time! Oh my god, I couldn't even hit the, uh, ops pack in time. There's. Oh, that's a guardian. That's another turret. God damn. Get these turrets out of here! Bounce them off the wall. Use this to your advantage. Trust me, that will come in handy. That will make uh, hitting certain things uh, a lot easier. Especially from range. You can bounce it off something like that. Okay, I am talenting way too much. I'm grenading too much, in fact. I can't help it. I, I can't keep control myself. The so Atlas is still pretty easy as a Vanguard because of the uh, regenning and all that. And proc their melee and they're big and dumb. By the time they recover from pretty much anything, um, by the time they pretty much recover from anything, uh, you can buy out a charge right after, and it'll be pretty easy to deal with as long as you proc that melee attack. If you don't do that, things might be a little rough for you because of the health gate and shield gate cooldowns, but. All in all, it's a it's, it's high risk, and uh, I guess it's enjoyable when <laughs> you get that sense of enjoyment when done right. But uh, keep in mind, I mean, unless you play on pl plan on playing, uh, you know, very carefully, you probably will die a lot. So you're gonna need uh, consumables at your disposal, lots of meta gel, lots of ops packs, and uh, you're gonna want to cause as much mayhem as possible. Gonna need power amps, grenades, because sonic stuff. I mean, you can, uh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to get that one out there, sorry. Alright, team, I'm a little too squishy for that, uh, outside area, and that is a really bad spot, by the way. Probably just gonna keep spawning out there, too. Look at this shit. Fuck it. Okay, I am a winner with my missile launcher. Cluster grenade everything in the... Lucky we got this map. Okay, anyone wanna provide support? No, probably not. C -c Charge her, you maniac! Jeez. Please, someone other than me get this. I am not tanky enough for it. Okay, guess I'll get it. <laughs> oh, I thought that Vanguard was. Well, I guess this will work out if they're taking all the Argos off of me. Okay, I need more grenades. He's probably gonna b let himself bleed out again, but I don't think they're spawning up. Okay, 
Okay, you guys stay over there and do turret stuff. I'll just hit all the objectives to draw fucking Vanguard. Worst possible decision for anything. Then I get shield gated by one shot from a combat engineer. Life is rough. Life is definitely rough. Damn, I'm gonna have to. I might have to actually grind this one out in silver. Jeez, I didn't think I'd. Okay, let's see how we can play the bucket. Okay, we kill. Yep, killed all the phantom. That's why you get radius on cluster grenades too, because it's hard enough hitting shit with the cluster grenades. So go with the radius. And I was gonna come get you, Speedy Gonzalez. Don't you know? What is shooting me? That would be shooting me. Damn phantoms! Why don't you go after the Turian? Well, you get put up to cover, obviously. This is a good place to be revived. Fuck it! You want some of the good stuff? Well, guess what? You can't take it! Cheap shots. I don't appreciate that. So, also, um, as far as ammo choices are concerned, you definitely want to go with something you can detonate. Um, you know, uh, incendiary uh, or disruptor. Cryo ammo will not work, so don't bother doing that, even though you probably have like two million of the shits. I've actually, I think, maxed out on uh, on all of it so far. 255 for level 3 and level 4. If I had bought more uh, jumbo equipment packs, we'd probably have full level 1 and level 2 as well. Yeah, and 7 challenge completed. There we go. Jeez. You'd think uh, <laughs> more than 30,000 of those points would be from charge. I guess not. But obviously, even with the uh, the dying over and over again, um, as long as you've got cluster grenades, power amps, I mean, you can cause a lot of destruction, especially against a uh, a group like Cerberus, where all their units don't have uh, don't have that much health. They have more health than I do, but well, what can you do? <laughs> I guess I should probably just focus on run. God, I cannot run anywhere. Okay, I still got ops packs. Still got grenades. Heat grenades, fuck faces! You kill me? No, I kill you! You don't want to... Oh shit, I'm sorry, Helga. <laughs> uh, man, it is rough. Uh, like I said, lots of consumables. May not be the most elegant gameplay you've ever seen from me. Probably one of the most sloppiest, but it certainly is destructive. Is that Vanguard? The other Vanguard died too. Jeez. Fuck it! No, oh, stay away from my Turian buddy. Uh oh, gonna need the ops back. Oh, I got. Oh God, save me! Up, oh, go around the corner. Oh, sh look at all the crap around the corner. Good lord. Oh man, that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty rough. Ah. Uh. I dominated though. I didn't dominate. Not so much in the uh, death department. They pushed my shit in, but I'm not a very uh, not a very cautious trail vanguard. That's for sure. Oh, not too bad. Obviously, you can see the destruction. Most of that is just charge and grenades. Very little uh, gunplay. Didn't even get the five headshot medal. Oh, I did probably kill five people. It's just uh, there's not much of an opportunity for it. Let me go ahead and back out here. Mm -mm. Ah, delicious water. Man needs to quench his thirst when I whip so much ass, lots of screaming, so on and so forth. So we'll take a look at the goods here, the powers. Pretty much standard biotic charge. Uh, Procedure there, cluster grenades, radius, max grenades, shrapnel, always go with shrapnel. The three grenades, when they all hit, will do more damage than the buffed out two grenades, even if you go for straight force and damage. I'm, or maybe, I'm not sure about that one. It is the case for uh, multi-frag grenades, but you're going to want the three grenades because it'll uh, give you more chances to hit things from long range, and it's probably the range you're going to want to be throwing these from, unless... Uh, you're uh, batshit insane, like kind of like I am, so radius is what I like to do. 
Natural Assassin. Straight power damage, weapon damage. <laughs> Not gonna really need this. This has the plus 50 weight uh, thing on it, and the cooldown is still 180%. Full uh, fitness, no points. I mean, you could put three pity points in pull if you wanted to, but I don't really uh, see the point. Not necessary. So here's the uh, weight thing I was talking about. Let's slap on a claymore. Let's see where's that claymore at? Let's see, 90%. And that's not that's not too bad, but uh, four and a four and four and a half second biotic charge speed might uh, get you a little killed. So if you're using a heavier weapon, might want to play a little more reserved. So well, that's the Drill Vanguard, and I guess moving on, this is the part where I would tell you that I have my Mass Effect banner. Look at that, it has the fucking check mark. Look at that, 100%. I have everything. Oh, man. And I actually could have, uh, if I was competing for time, I wouldn't have bothered making the video. Or maybe I would have, but I would have stuck to solo. It's a lot easier to get 30,000 points when soloing. But uh, I am all finito with uh, the challenges. I've crushed it all. I nerded out. Loser with skinny wiener. I need my loser with skinny wiener and no life banner. God damn. I grinded for it. I earned it. And the reason why it is not working is because the survivor medals is not counting. Even though I have done it, it's time completed is not there, but it is for everything. Let's see, look at the number of times completed. So, technically... Let's see, I have achieved the Mass Effect banner at about, what is it, 1, like 101, 102, 103, 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time on November the 2nd. So, well, and last I checked, the number one guy in the, uh, in the country on PC, he still had to do the Upside on Commando Challenge, I think, so... Yeah, it was, uh, it was actually not, it was getting kind of uh, rough at the end. I was kind of getting fed up with it. 200 ways with some of these classes. Big pain in my ass. I actually resorted to just uh, droning out on uh, bronze because uh, those games can finish it in about 10 minutes on Glacier. So if uh, you're looking to get some quick waves in to get some of these challenges completed, just go to bronze. And surprisingly, some pretty geared out people are playing on bronze. Bronze, uh, lots of ultra rares that are decently leveled too. Probably people thinking the same idea as you and I is grinding out some of these uh, challenges. And I gotta say, I am not a big fan. Oh, that Volus engineer was starting to piss me off. I can't stand the Phoenix classes. I tried. Bring my piss to a boil playing those classes. I hate Smash. I hate what they did to it. And it was funny. I was actually starting to get into that class. And then they nerfed it. I don't know why. But all in all, I am pretty much done. This does not mean I am quitting Mass Effect. No, I'll still keep on trucking. Even with all the releases that are coming out uh, this fall and winter, I will stay. I don't know if I'll stay to the end, but I'll still keep going at it. Business will resume as usual. So, Drill Vanguard, Mass Effect Banner completed when they fixed the Survivor Medal. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Operation Jackhammer. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, be soup.